Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Vanessa Rufus and I'm Fred Shropshire. First here at six, a COVID outbreak to talk about at a local school. At least 14 people tested positive for the virus at Union Academy Charter School in Monroe. Roughly 150 students and staff now in quarantine. Originally masks were optional for staff and students, but now due to that outbreak, masks are mandatory for all. WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Daly is in Monroe tonight with the details. Well, you know, Union Academy Charter is not the only school in our area to make masks optional. They just happen to be the first school to go back. And so now some tonight are wondering if this could be an example of what's to come. Just six days into the new school year and Union Academy Charter School in Monroe says they've already learned a lesson. Absolutely. If we had um, been fully masked, all of our staff and students last week, we would have had 14 or 15 students in quarantine, not 150. John Marshall is the school's headmaster and says originally masks were optional for students and staff when they returned to class July 26th. But now with at least 14 active COVID-19 cases and roughly 150 students and staff in quarantine, the school's board reversed course and masks now mandatory for all. We're required to quarantine uh, one class last week and now we're up to I believe it's four classes that have been quarantined. Marshall says while everyone must wear a mask regardless of vaccine status, those who have been vaccinated will not be required to quarantine. A majority of cases, however, he says, are amongst elementary age students too young to get the vaccine. Given that you know we lost Mr. Stanley last year to this, I would have thought there would have been a little bit more safeguards in place to wanting to start off in the right place. Mike Stack is a UA parent and says it all hits too close to home, citing the death of UA middle school teacher and coach Ken Stanley, who died earlier this year after a battle with COVID. How many more staff maybe were infected or they brought this home to other family members? Other parents, however, vocal against the mask mandate, seeing cases likely brought in from home since they appeared so close to the start of school. I would definitely prefer him to not have to wear it all day. And the headmaster here today telling me that based on the newest CDC guidelines, masks are the safest way to ensure that kids get to stay in person in schools. But uh, you guys, the mask debate far from over. We do know that Ash County and Alexander County will both be voting on their mask policies later today. Reporting in Monroe, Asha Daly, WCNC Charlotte.